but take some time here to put up a structure like this 80 by 160 utilizing the green post agricultural post frame storage building in this short little video i want to kind of give you an idea here of what our guys are doing they're framing this out here you can see right here heavy duty trusses you can see here yellow pine let me pan the camera up just a little bit so you can see that so yellow pine trusses on that and again we spec our trusses from an engineering firm out of chicago my tech engineering let me kind of go through this and give you kind of an idea. So heavy duty trusses, the LVLs that we use right here. All right, look at that heavy duty stuff. All right, on this. And then we have a little partition as well, but on this application, let me get you a little bit closer so you can see that. So a lot of people ask me on post selection, what are you using, three ply, four ply, concrete perma columns, what set brackets? Well, let me get you a little bit closer on this one. See that it's actually a green post. All right, environmental, but what it does is it's kind of got this asphalt wrap, and I'll put the product specs in the description there. But you can see right here, state of Ohio, we go down four feet, and you see we got this 401 stone, it's backfill, and you can see right here a three ply. And then on the corners there, let me move the camera over here, okay, three ply. And then for the, the openings here, we have four ply, but look at that, a green post, it's got this vinyl wrap. Let me go down a little bit closer okay a two by ten rim board 0.60 all right so green post you can see it look at this drip stop metal comes with a 20-year warranty approved for animal confinement this is going to be actually a storage building there's going to be no animals in here but you can see how we set this up okay as i pan the camera over then also you can see our guys we box this out actually two by sixes here Okay, so we're using a three ply with green posts that we're running our two by sixes. Again, 1650 MSR lumber. If you're new to the channel, what's the difference between a two grade lumber and a 1650 MSR lumber? Well, two grade mics out about 1,000, 1150. 1650 bikes out at 1650. That's machine stress points or tensile strengths. Okay, and you can see what we're doing right here. We're laying our purlins flat. And I haven't talked about this in a while, but actually when we set our trusses four foot on center, we can put the purlins on flat. And obviously with the surface area like this, 160 allows our builders to, you know, with our trusses, how we put that into three ply. Let me kind of nestle this camera up here so you get a better idea. But the two by six wedges there. All right, two by sixes in between there. So this kind of gives you a little bit better idea. 50 or 80 by 160 under construction.